Recent change to DC law is getting a lot of attention this morning for what it means for families, parents and businesses. Abby Larico joins us now to verify. Hey, Abby, good morning. Hey, Annie, good morning to you. We have reported here that the DC Council approved legislation expanding access to fertility treatment. And now, yes, Congress and the mayor have signed off as well. So we took a look at several sources, including the law itself, to verify what it means for families moving forward. Bill 25-34 will require individual health plans, group plans, or health insurers offering coverage through Medicaid and the DC Healthcare Alliance program to quote, provide coverage for the diagnosis and treatment of infertility. The NIH says about 9% of men and 11% of women of reproductive age have experienced prolonged difficulty conceiving or carrying a pregnancy to term. The bill's passage means starting in 2024, patients using DC Healthcare Alliance or Medicaid will have coverage for appropriate appropriate specialists and medications and have three rounds of IVF paid for too. Then in 2025, those same guaranteed benefits will extend to people insured through jobs located in DC or DC HealthLink, the district's health exchange program. In vitro fertilization treatments are particularly cost prohibitive. The NIH reports IVF costs about 20 to $25,000 per round and often takes several rounds to work. DC Council Member Christina Henderson, chair of the Health Committee and co-sponsor of the bill, cited those costs as a reason for the policy change. And she also shared CDC analysis finding women of color are less likely to see, su seek support mm -hmm. dealing with infertility. So advocates say expanding access in this way also makes fertility treatment any more equitable as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, what about those who live or work outside of the district? Right. Well, D.C. in this change, according to Resolve, the National Infertility Association, joins 21 states with some kind of fertility laws mm -hmm. on the books, mm -hmm. including West Virginia and Maryland, where this law are very similar to what's now being enacted in D.C. All right, this is such a major foot forward and hopefully bringing relief to so many people who want to start a family. Absolutely. Thanks, Absolutely. Abby. Over to you, Wisdom.